If you ever feel guilty about taking that afternoon nap, don't. It turns out it's good for you. A study by NUS suggests that there are some major benefits to daily scheduled naps. They significantly improve learning and memory for teenagers, whether or not they've had sufficient sleep within a day. Over 100 teenagers took part in the study. And for more, we're joined by Professor Michael Chi. He's director of the Center for Sleep and Cognition at the NUS Yong Lulin School of Medicine. Well, Professor Chi, tell us more about the main factors that you examined in this study. Thanks, Don. Um, it's sort of intuitive that naps might benefit cognition if you didn't sleep well the previous night. And however much research data to date has been conducted on university students who typically don't get enough sleep at night to start off with. So we wanted to know if naps supplementing an adequate night of sleep would still be beneficial. And briefly, the answer is yes. Now, what is adequate? We can't test all combinations of sleep duration. So we settled on two, 6.5 and eight hours. 6.5 hours uh, over 24 hours because we have shown that it is not enough overall. Um, but it's also the duration that over 85% of more than 2,000 secondary school students we polled report sleeping on weekday nights. Now, eight hours we chose because it's the lower bound of the US National Sleep Foundation recommendation for nocturnal sleep in this age group. Now, for continuous nighttime sleep, whether it's 6.5 or eight hours, eight hours yields slightly better results in one of the two tests. However, for both um, the, uh, you know, durations, both for the inadequate and adequate sleep total budgets, if you split the sleep, into a shorter nocturnal period and an afternoon nap of 90 minutes, you get better memory performance. So a great feature of our work is that we use, yeah, not one, but two memory tests, um, invo one involving pictures, the other one involving fact learning, and you know, both of them showed benefit in the split sleep or nap group. And what do naps do for us then? How do they benefit our bodies and minds? Well, you know, you know, sleepiness is influenced by two interacting processes. There is a cyclically um, varying circadian process and another one where sleep pressure builds up uh, along a straight line gradually the longer you stay awake. Now, naps provide a second opportunity for this sleep pressure that builds up gradually to be relieved. And uh, we demonstrated this relief of the sleep pressure using sophisticated analysis of EEG or brainwave data. Now, the hippocampus is a structure deep in the brain that's very important for memory. And in a related uh, study using fMRI or brain imaging, we found that activation of this memory, uh, the structure important for memory, um, the activation is it, uh, during learning after a nap was greater if the participant uh, napped compared to if they stayed awake. So a nap sort of recharges your ability to encode information. And that, that's why we think uh, the afternoon nap uh, benefits memory in, in a very clear manner. Mm. Professor Chi, important for our viewers to know that this study was very specifically done on teens and looked at their memory and learning. But do we know if the same results might apply for adults too? Well, I would say it's probably uh, true of young adults. Um, for older adults, you know, if you are over 65, say, uh, very long naps, um, over two hours actually uh, might uh, have a different significance, but I don't have time to get into that here. And if scheduled naps are good, should schools and companies then introduce or allow so for these sort of little siestas? Yeah, I think um, you know this is something that some uh, societies, for example, in, in um, the uh, Mediterranean countries or in some Europe or China, they have uh, had, had this as part of their cultural practice. I want to say that, you know, um, you know, these naps specifically relate to splitting sleep into two, a, a nocturnal period and a, a main afternoon nap. Some, some kids now are trying to do three, four or five uh, naps in the day because they're really getting grossly insufficient sleep. And that's not what we're recommending. But an afternoon nap, I think um, it, it's going to be good, especially if you don't get enough sleep. Professor Chi, thank you very much for joining us this evening to talk about this subject of uh, napping, scheduled napping and its benefits for teenagers. Professor Michael Chi, their director of the Center of Sleep and Cognition at NUS Yong Lulin School of Medicine.